Hey everybody, I'm back. If you want to see why I've been gone so long, stick around to the end of the video and I'll ramble on about why I've been gone so long. Anyway, today we're going to talk about, I don't know if I want to call it a glitch, let's call it a selection anomaly in ArcGIS Pro. Let me show you. All right, here I have a couple polygons. I'm going to select one because I want to reshape it. I select my reshape tool. I draw a little sketch to reshape it. And there it is. It's reshaped. Now I... Part of my process is I need to come down here to this table and select a couple records to do something with them, maybe populate the ID for that polygon, whatever. But you see, I selected them, but they're not selected anymore. And this pop-up jumped up here in the corner, this warning message. It says, active edit tool is filtering the selection. Deactivate tool to restore the selection. To Get your selection back. The reason it's not being selected is because I have the reshape tool active in the modify features pane. If I just hit this back arrow, my selection returns in the table. About a year and a half ago, they didn't have that little warning box that popped up and I would select some records in a table and they wouldn't select. Or I would try to select records by attributes. Nothing gets selected and I knew that record was in my table. And I was frustrated. I was beating my head against the wall. What is going on? I would close the project and open it again and then it would work. So it was some bug or something. I don't know, but that's what I thought it was. But it was just this selection thing. But they didn't have that warning message. So I was always closing projects and opening them again. Very frustrating. It's most likely because of the way Esri has to edit things. If there's a, an edit tool active, it can't do anything with records in a table. And so it deselects them while you're editing. And then when you go back, brings your selection back up. I also found out it's, it only happens when that table isn't editable. So if I make my parcels layer editable, then go to move. It keeps my selection because I can move those parcels now. So that was a quick video today. Just a little tip to help you out, help you be less frustrated help you get your GIS chops. If that did help you out, tap that like button and make sure to comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video or tell me of a frustration that you've had with ArcGIS Pro. Man, it was really frustrating for me at the beginning. I've been working in ArcMap for years. I My mouse would just go right to the tools, do everything I needed to do. I was quick. And when ArcGIS Pro first came out, I, I tried it out. They didn't have much functionality in it yet for editing and stuff like that. You know, it was to make maps pretty and I, I didn't make maps very often. I didn't uh, make publishable maps. So it took me a long time to get up to speed with ArcGIS Pro. And then when they said ArcMap was going to be going away, I said, I better start learning. So I started using it more and more. And I use it primarily now. And I only go back to ArcMap when I've got a really complex map that I don't want to rebuild in ArcGIS Pro yet. And that's why I started this channel is to help you get up to speed with ArcGIS Pro and find these little hidden tricks or tips that will help you be more efficient in, in your work. I'm here to help you get GIS chops. That's why I called the channel GIS Chops. And if you're still watching, I really appreciate it. That's, that's a way that you can help me out is watching videos to the end. The way you can support my channel right now is to give my videos likes, comment each video, and watch to the end. Then share it with your friends who do GIS. So the reason I've been gone so long we had a tree fall on our house about a year ago. Here's a picture and a little video. It took a really, really long time to get an insurance appraiser here because so many homes were damaged in Northern Utah here. They were bringing people in from California to appraise damage. So it took a long time to get things going. We did a lot of the work ourselves. I had to put the whole roof on the house. I had to do the flooring. My wife did the painting inside and outside. I had to put up the siding. So we've been really busy this past year. Every spare minute I've had, I've been spending on getting our house put back together. We also had a son get married in August and he had a reception here in our backyard. We had to get a lot of stuff ready for that. We put in a patio where the tree was. We actually used bricks from the part of the house that was demolished. We used those bricks as part of the patio. We kind of made a grid pattern in the brick. It was pretty cool. I think it turned out pretty nice. We've been really busy, but I hope to get back to producing regular, consistent content. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Tap that like button, share it with your friends, and comment below. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Be kind out there. Do good things with your maps.